Hello everyone, let's solve some work problems. We call these work problems because these are the problems where it'd be like, one person does a job in this much time, one person does a job in this much time, how long will it take if they work together? And these are rational functions, so here's how these are all gonna set up. It could be as many people as you want, that's why there's an ellipsis there, but if you have the time it takes for one person to complete the job, that's gonna be the denominator of one of your fractions. And then on the other side, so however many it takes, on the other side is the time it takes for the total people to get done. You could think of this as like saying one job in this amount of time, one job in this amount of time totals one job to the teamwork time. Okay, but you do need to have it as a rational function. So the first one says Paul can do it in two hours, one over two, and Alan can do it, no, Aaliyah can do it in three hours, so that would be one over three, and together they can do it in six hours. Or no, actually, we don't know, 1 over x. Okay, how long will it take if they work together? So what we're going to do is get a common denominator, and we're going to solve this equation. So to get a common denominator, we're going to multiply this guy by 3, actually 3x. Three and we're going to multiply this guy by 2x. That way the denominator will be 6x, but I want all the denominators in the problem to, have the same, to be the same, so this guy's going to get a 6. Now that everything is over 6x, 3x over 6x, 2x over 6x, and 6 over 6x. Now that everything is over 6x, we can clear the fraction. If you multiply both sides by 6x, that goes away. So you're just looking at the numerator. 3x plus 2x is 5x. If 5x equals 6, then this is 1.2 hours. Okay. So it took 3 hours for uh, Aaliyah, 2 hours for Paul, but if they work together, it'll take them 1.2 hours. Okay, they're all going to be like that. I'm going to get a common denominator for everything in the problem, and then I'm going to clear the fraction. That's how we solve rationals. This one says one printing press can do it in six hours, so one over six. A second can do it in nine hours, one over nine. And a third can do it in 12 hours. And I want to know how long would it take if we could run them all together. Okay, so we need a common denominator between six, nine, and 12, uh, 36. So this guy needs a 6t, this guy needs a 4t, and this guy needs a 3t, this guy needs a 36. Now everything is over 36t, so I'm just going to say, look, just look at the numerator. If everything is over 36t, you can ignore it. 6t times 1 is 6t, 4t times 1 is 4t, 3t times 1 is 3t, and 36 times 1 is 36. So this ends up being 13t equals 36. And if you divide both sides by 13, 36 over 13, I'll get my calculator. It's like 2.8 or something. Thir no, 36 over 13, 2.77, we'll say 2.8. 2.8 hours, okay? So the fastest machine is six hours, but if you work with the two slower machines, you can get it down to 2.8 hours, which is nice, okay? Okay, let's do another one. And in this one, they're gonna give us not, we're not gonna find the total time, we're gonna find the time it takes one person to do it alone. So it says Natalie and Jenny, it takes them together 5.14. So one over 5.14. Um, Natalie can do it in 12 hours, one over 12, but if, Jenny does it by herself, we don't know. That's 1 over t. So first thing I'm going to do is get a common denominator, and this is just going to be gross. 5.14 times 12 is 61.68. So I'm going to multiply this guy by 5.14t. This guy is going to get multiplied by that number I just said, 61.68. This guy is going to get multiplied by 12t. And now that everything is over that denominator, I can just look at the numerator. So in the numerator, I have 5.14t plus 61.68 equals 12t. This is a two-step equation. We're going to do 12 minus 5.14 gets 6.86. And then I will divide 61.68. So these numbers are kind of weird divided by 6.86 and get 8.99. I think we're just going to say that's, uh, wait, where'd my T go? That's T. Um, when you divide both sides by 6.86, let's just say it's 9. T 
t equals nine. It's so close. Nine hours. I think that's the reason why that's that decimal. Okay, it's because it's so close to nine. So if she did it by herself, eight point nine nine, which we'll just say is nine hours. Okay, it takes uh, one of them twelve hours. It takes the other nine hours if they work together. They can do it in five point one four hours. All right, the last one is the trickiest one. And I'm going to say if it says 80% of the time, so think of it this way. If one of them takes 100 minutes, 80% of that is 80 minutes. What you need to realize is that's faster, okay? 80% of the time means it's working faster. It's not going to change a lot about my math, but just be aware that if you do 80% of something, you get a faster time, or less time means it's faster. So in this problem, it says we got Bob's hose and we got Jim's hose. Bob's hose can do it in 80% of the time. So we'll say 1 over T and 1 over 0.8 T. So this is the faster one. This is Bob. And this is Jim. So however long it takes Jim, I don't know, but it takes Bob's 80% of that. And it says it takes them 18 hours together. Okay, if they work together, it's 18 hours. So we're going to multiply 18 times 0.8 to get a common denominator of 14.4. This needs a 14.4 in the top and the bottom. This needs an 18 in the top and the bottom. And this guy needs uh, a 0.8 T in the top and the bottom. And now that everything is over 14.4, I'm just going to ignore the denominator and say this is 14.4 uh, plus 18 equals 0.8t. Okay, now I'm going to do 14.4 plus 18 and get 32.4. Now I'll divide. Divide by 0.8 and get 40.5. t is 40.5. But again, that's the slower one. That's Jim's time. To find Bob's time, I do 0.8 of that. So 0.8 times 40.5 is 32.4. That's the 32 point. See, I kind of found that one first. You didn't, you didn't maybe realize that. That 38.4, that's Bob's time. Okay. So the 40.5 was Jim, and then Bob is 80% of that. Bob's hose fills it up in less time, which means it's faster. It takes less hours. Okay. So those are called work problems, and these are really common on the ACT, so this is a good thing for you to review. It's a good thing to practice solving, and it's a little trickier to set up. That's why it's an extension. So enjoy your video. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe.